Welcome to CabSat 2017 in Dubai. In Broadcast is here at the 23rd show and is the ideal showcase for everyone involved in digital media and entertainment. Hi, Martin Coleman, Executive Director of the Interference Reduction Group. Well, here we are, another year. We're back and it's 2017, so what's new? Well, the T word is still in the mix, technology. And this is really important to us. It's almost a little bit of history for IRG itself, but this group, this company, this member, look at the text, ready for what's next. That is what we do. We look for engineering our way forward. That's what we've always believed in. And right now, this company, along with colleagues and members, have developed a fantastic court tool called SatGuard. We have for once able to resolve VSAT interference quickly and efficiently. The proof is now out there. We have case studies that prove from years of interference, we're now down to minutes of resolution. So from years to minutes, just by a new tool. And yes, just another tool in the box. And that is really what it's about. It's just another one and there will be more. There has to be because we've said it before, this is a repeat, there's no one silver bullet that will fix all of this. So, what next? Well, anybody's heard of IBM Watson? That's where the group's heading. If anybody remembers Jeopardy, take a look on the internet. But AI is coming. We have a lot of data, we have a lot of things to do, and one human being in an operations centre cannot cope. People like Kratos, people like our other members within the group, are starting to look about how to use the newest technology available, deep learning, cognitive computing. I've mentioned it before, it's here, it's real, and it matters. So on that note, just think about it. Already we've broken the barrier. We're probably more on top of interference than we've ever been before because of this product, because of this company, this member, and others making it possible working together. But look out, watch this spot, because augmented intelligence, some know it as artificial intelligence, but deep learning, cognitive computing is coming, and we're going to use it. Thank you.